Well, I would marry you, Dolly. You were the last woman on earth. Now, if you ask me a million times, I didn't need you before, and I don't need you now. Dolly Levi, you go your way, and I'll go mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly! Dolly! Oh, it's you. Is it Mr. Hackle come crawling back? Have you? No, Mr. Van de Gelder. I just stopped by for my $146.35. You see, I've decided to go into business for myself. And since the only business I know is hay and feed, I'm opening my own store. And Cornelius has found the perfect location right across the street from you. So you, you think you can compete with Van de Gelder's, do you? Or just you try? Uh -huh. Uh, another one come crawling, is it? What do you want? My back salary for the past four months. Six dollars and twelve cents. <laughs> you, you can't do this to me, any of you. I'll go to the courts. I'll, I'll get lawyers. I'll, I'll... Well, Horace Van der Gelder, as I live and breathe, if you are an handsome in that outfit. <laughs> so few men nowadays have the courage to wear fawn yellow and puce. <laughs> Gallagher, Gallagher. I know just what you're going to say, Horace. You're not satisfied with Ernestina. Well, I have another girl for you, the ideal wife. But don't let me interrupt. You were doing something. What were you doing? Getting Cornelius' money, Dolly. One hundred and forty-six dollars and thirty-five cents. Plus six dollars and twelve cents a month. And the money my mama left me. Fifty-two dollars and forty-eight cents. Thirty-eight. Forty-eight. All right. All right. The money you want, the safe is upstairs. <laughs> 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 I don't know how 
how I do it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I frighten myself. <laughs> Oh. 